Hello, my name is Teresa Driscoll. I attend Life Church in Shreveport, Louisiana. I've been here for about 20, almost 25 years um, at Life Church. I am a lay minister. Um, I was the prayer minister for the church for 15 years. I now disciple young ladies in the church um, and have a group that comes over uh, every Friday night. We're learning the word and we're learning about healing. Um, one of the things that I really wanted to share is, is where I came from what God brought me through, the goodness and the faithfulness of God and the surety of his word. I was raised Catholic. Um, I've always known God. I've always believed in him. I've always, I, at one point, you know, when I was young, I used to think I was his favorite child. I was an abused child and he was my father and he is my father. Um, but Jesus, not so much. I knew he died for my sins because they did talk about that in church. But I didn't know that he was the reconciler to the Father. And that um, I was a sinful person even though I was young. Um, I grew up, I be, was very rebellious uh, as a lot of children who are abused become. I became an alcoholic and a drug addict. Um, and uh, was married, divorced, and uh, by the time I was seven, 18 years old, when I was uh, 24, let's see, October 6th of 1983, when I was 23 years old, I had was married, and I had left for two weeks on a binge, uh, didn't get in contact with my husband or anything like that. Um, and when I came down, I went to a rehab center to dry out. And I'd been to many rehabs. But this one, I had my knees and I said, Lord, I don't want to live and I'm afraid to die. Help me. And he did. And he instantly delivered me from alcohol and drug addiction. Um, it would be 10 years before I started going to church, and he brought me into the church through a supernatural act that is too long to go into here, but no man had any part in it. It was all him, and uh, so I started going to church, and when I was in a church, I'd been there a couple of three months or so, um, somebody gave me a book, and they said, you need to read this. It's so good. I've always had dreams. I've always had visions since I was a child. I think it's because I really held on to God um, in my um, in my suffering as a child, and uh, He showed Himself to me many times. Um, and so, when they gave me this book, I took it. And it was by a prophet. So I thought, well, this is going to be interesting. And I went to walk away. And the Lord said, no. Give it back. And he spoke to me as clear as I'm speaking to you right now. And he says, you don't know my word well enough to divide the truth from a lie. And I was like, okay. Uh, all right. So I turned around. I told the lady that gave it to me, I said, I'm sorry, I can't read that right now. And it would be several years before I would read that book. And God is so true. It was something that I did not need to read because it was full of fantasy. I'm sure the author felt like it was real, but you have to understand in the gospel, when Jesus fasted and prayed for 40 days, the enemy came to him and he came at him with the word and he twisted it and he took it out of context. And so it is, especially in these last days, imperative that um, we be diligent to present ourselves approved to God, 
a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. But shun profane and idle babblings, for they will increase to more ungodliness. And that is happening today's lady. And that's 2 Timothy 2, 15 and 16. And I would read the whole thing in context. Go ahead and read that. But that is the importance of the word because you need to be able to tell what's truth and what's a lie. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And he can't destroy if you don't know what your weapons of warfare are. If you don't know how to rightfully wield the word of the Lord against him. And people can tell you things that are not true and you'll believe it and you'll believe a lie. So dig into the word, you know, seek him. Where it says, seek him while he may be found. The word is precious. And we're a very blessed nation that we still have. You can get it. I'm, I'm sitting, this is my prayer ring. I've got 10 different versions of Bibles in here. I love the word and you'll love it too. The more you get into it and the more the Lord shows you and the closer you draw to the Lord, the closer he draws near to you. So enjoy your Bible study. Learn dissect it see what God wants to say to you personally and you will have a you will have a life full of joy and peace not trouble free not trouble free but the assurance that God is with you God bless you and have a wonderful evening